Welcome to GearHead Country Live. Well, kind of live. We're here in Hamilton at the Hamilton Convention Center. Actually, it's the Molson Canadian, uh, what do they call it? The Molson Canadian event uh, like studio <laughs> or something like that. Hamilton Place. Hamilton Place, a part of Hamilton Place. And I'm here with Chad Brownlee. And how are you doing today, Chad? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm very good, very good. Uh, yeah, a little chilly, as I was saying earlier. I just got back from Cuba, so I'm suffering from a little bit of uh, temperature shock here. But uh, but I think we'll survive. So, uh, yeah, you've got a big show tonight in Hamilton. So, uh, you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's our third stop on the Boys of Fall Tour with Dallas Smith. And uh, we were in Windsor and Oshawa before this. Mm -hmm. And the show's went fantastic. So, we're uh, starting to catch a stride now. And we're having a lot of fun. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Glad to hear it. So... You've had an interesting career so far. Again, you're uh, you are a professional hockey player. What uh, what initiated that transition between uh, you know professional sports and getting into the music industry? There's a few things that kind of pushed me out of hockey, and one was injuries, like many hockey players yeah. go through. I had surgery on both my shoulders, and then separated it my first and only year of playing in the minor pros. And, all the while, I've been playing music my whole life, and in those last couple years, I had been writing and, and really working on um, singing and, and performing, and, and the love for music was just so strong. And I was 23 at the time, I think, and I figured, you know, while I'm still young, I'm going to pursue something that I'm really passionate about, because there was a moment where I was sitting on the bench and counting down the seconds to the game, and I said, that's no way I want to live my life. Yeah. I don't want to count the seconds away from, from this life that I'm living, and um, so I made the decision. It wasn't easy. Um, I mean, I didn't know anybody in the music industry, and I didn't really know if I wanted to country rock. I mean, yeah. I, I love country, and it was something that I've, uh, you know, been passionate about for a long time. But um, you know, I was just lucky along the way to meet the right people, and and uh, here we are today. So that's kind of the, the short story, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh no, I, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. It's a great, again, it's a great story. I saw, I saw Chad at. Uh, the Boot Hill Country Jamboree this is where I saw you last, and it was a great show there too. Everybody, uh, everybody enjoyed it. The friends I was with thought it was awesome. It's like, oh wow, he's great. So, yeah, puts awesome on a puts on a good show. So it was a cool. it was a good event. Yeah, it was a fun show. Well, let's get down to some Gearhead Country stuff that Gearhead Country folks want to know. Uh, Chad, what was your first car? Right well, out of the box. Well, it wasn't a car, it was a van. Okay. So, not the coolest thing in the world to be driving <laughs> around, having your friends see you. And it was a, a Chevy Astro van. Um, I mean, I played hockey, my sister yeah. played soccer, so my parents got a van, and, and that was our vehicle. So, I did my road test in it and everything. And uh, so, it was kind of nice to, to learn in a bigger vehicle, yeah. I guess. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was the start of it all for me. <laughs> it's not a cool story or anything. But. Oh, that's well, mind you. I, again, I actually started off. That a van was my first vehicle too, and I can remember going out, uh, go down on dates. And of course, you know, it's almost like every every parent's nightmare is the boy showing up in the van. It's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Did you ever have that? Uh, no, not too much. It was just, uh, you know. You can fill lots of friends in the van yeah, too. Yeah, so that's guess, true so. too. Yes, yeah. You become the you become the taxi for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Any other, uh, you know, what? What what would be your dream vehicle? What would you describe as a, a dream vehicle you would like to have in your garage? Your money's no object. What would it be? Um, I like the muscle cars. Um, there's actually in our video day after you. There's a '69 Camaro, mm. and uh, I kind of fell in love with that car uh, during that video. And you know the old Chevelles and the old Mustangs. Yeah. So that that kind of style is definitely something I'm, I'm attracted to. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. You can't, can't go wrong with a good old muscle car. You so. can't. You can't. It might not be the most fuel efficient, but yeah. <laughs> you look cool. <laughs> now, what about uh, cars and trucks? Trucks, especially, play a big part in your writing process. You got a lot of imagery involving cars and trucks. Now, how do you how do you go about? Is it just you know you you try to incorporate vehicles into the songs, or does it just happen because of who you are and and uh, you know what you like? I just happened on a couple songs. Um, you know, in tailgate, it talks about obviously going past the four lanes out to the dirt road and laying down the tailgate and having a good time. And that's, uh, you know, that's country music mm -hmm. right there. So um, that was that was one of the easier songs to write. It was really fun. And uh, I haven't had a truck, but everything that's talked about uh, in the song, I mean, I love going out to the trails, up to the mountains and uh, doing camp and everything that kind of encapsulates that song. Um, 
So yeah, it just, it happens, man. I don't sit down and say, I want to write a song about a vehicle today. It's just, that's the idea of the day. And, uh, and it came out in a song. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to play your cards right. We'll have to get you some kind of pickup truck, some kind of sponsorship. <laughs> Don't I love Paul Brandt said I said that. I know he's got Ford wrapped up, so yeah. <laughs> I think Chevy's open right at the moment. I don't there think anyone go. in Canada's officially doing sponsorship for them these days, but All one right. never can tell. Exactly. Yeah, awesome. Any other any other cool stories on the road stories you can think of? Anything automotive related? Blown anything up? Crashed anything? Uh, not yet, but now that we're talking about it, I'm sure tomorrow something's going to happen. <laughs> no, so no, no, don't. I'm not going to say that. No, nothing's going to happen. You're yeah. going to be fine. The bus will start up in a way you'll go to yeah. spot. So, awesome. Thank well, you. Anytime. Thank you very much. Well, let's get our coveralls on, our tools out. Let's get back to some more Gearhead Country. <laughs> 